They coming, they coming, they coming. Hit the button, hit the button. Sage Stallone was born May 5th, 1976 in Los Angeles, California and was the elder son and first child of Sasha Zack and actor slash film director Sylvester Stallone. He was an actor, film director, producer, and distributor. Sage attended Montclair College Preparatory School in Vienna, Nuys, California, where he graduated in 1993. He later studied filmmaking at North Carolina School of the Arts for one year. As a child, Stallone made a guest appearance on Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling brought by his grandmother, Jackie Stallone, who promoted the series. He made his acting debut in 1990 alongside his father, Sylvester Stallone, in Rocky V, the fifth installment of the Rocky franchise, playing Robert Balboa Jr., the on-screen son of his father's title character. He did not, however, reprise the same role in Rocky Balboa, the sixth installment of the Rocky films, as he was working on his own film, Vic, which won the 2006 Boston Film Festival Best New Filmmaker Award. Other than a role in Daylight in 1996 alongside his father, Sylvester Stallone, Sage has only appeared in short films and lesser-known movies. His last appearance on the big screen was in the movie Creed in 2015, where a picture was shown of him in which the character Rocky said that he had moved away to Vancouver. Few people knew that the character played by Sage in Rocky V was very accurate to the real-life relationship between the father and son portraying the father and the son in the movie. Sage was even quoted as saying, quote, When I was screaming, you never spent time with me, you never spent time with my mother, that was true. I was looking into my father's face and really saying that, said Sage to People Magazine. He continued, I got a lot of things out, we broke into tears a few times, after the film, everything changed, we do anything for each other, or so it seemed. The newfound, rekindled relationship didn't last long. Sylvester Stallone publicly insulted Sage and made fun of his appearance. Quote, he avoids the gym like the plague and is interested in abstract art house films. He has put himself in a position in which he'll never have to be compared to me, said the 73-year-old actor in 1996 to the People magazine. Following Sage's death, many of his friends talked about how Sage struggled to get along with his father. The love-hate would go back and forth all the time, recalls longtime friend and fellow actor Stephen Wozniak. He continued, Sage would say, I love that rare ending in Nighthawks that my dad was really sticking up for. And then a few minutes later, he would look into the magazine and say, look at these tribal tattoos that my dad is getting at 66. What is he doing? Sage was also unhappy with his dad after he cast a much leaner Milo Ventimiglia and Rocky Balboa instead of him. To learn of the dysfunction and distance between the legendary Hollywood figure and his son is unsettling enough, but it starts to become a little bit more aware when Sylvester Stallone's nephew goes public with some harsh accusations. It was reported in 2012 that conflicting reports about the tragic death of Sylvester Stallone's son Sage Stallone started surfacing at a rapid pace and family members were already pointing fingers immediately after Sage's death. Sage's cousin, 18-year-old Ed Felitti, posted an angry message on Facebook that suggested that the Rocky actor himself was at least partially to blame for Sage's death. Felitti explained that the elder Stallone had essentially cut Sage, 36, out of his life and moved that devastated the filmmaker and may have led to his early demise. What did he do wrong? Say happy birthday, Felitti wrote, according to Celeb Buzz. Neither you or your wife Jennifer Flavin could return a phone call, which is all he wanted, his father. I know you don't care what happened, but you'll care when you're squirming under the burning magnifying glass of public opinion. You make me effing sick, said Felitti. Sage was found in his Hollywood Hills home by a housekeeper, reportedly surrounded by bottles of prescription pills and empty cans. Police officials did not specify what type of pills were found and whether or not they played a part in Sage's death, though they said the death was likely an accident since no suicide note was found and no foul play was suspected. Felidi is Sage's cousin and the son of Stallone's half-sister, Tony Ann. But Felidi's criticism didn't stop there. The angry teen also aimed a few pointed jabs specifically at the actor's wife, Jennifer Flavin. Jennifer Flavin, you won, he wrote. You tore this family apart and got your trophy. Congrats. Like you told my family, I'm Sly's family now. He doesn't need you anymore. Let's see how much he needs you after this. Sage's mother, Sasha Zack, split with Stallone in 1985 after 11 years of marriage.
Two days after Sage's death, the elder Stallone issued a statement asking people to respect my talented son's memory and feel compassion for his loving mother, Sasha, and for the media to stop the speculation and questionable reporting. The speculation and questionable curiosity only becomes even more creepy when you learn that Stallone named his firstborn son Sage Moonblood Stallone. Moonblood is known to be menstruation blood or blood that is necessary to perform certain types of rituals. Blood moon sacrifices and blood moons in general have always been associated with demonic dark energy even outside of the quote unquote conspiracy world. Even in the Bible, the blood moon is said to symbolize the end of the world. The scene on the movie Creed where they show Rocky and his son Sage in the picture on the shelf. If you look close next to the picture, you'll see a petrol oil burner's clock. You can't tell from the way it looks on this scene, but if you plug this clock in, you can clearly see that it's a representation of a blood moon. On top of that, although Sage was said to be dead days before he was discovered, the official date of his death is July, Friday the 13th. What does Sylvester Stallone really have against his son Sage? Even on the movie Creed when he spoke about him for that last time, he pretty much said that he wasn't a fighter and minimized the whole ordeal of him moving to Vancouver with his girlfriend as something that seemed like it wasn't something he approved of. Also saying that he didn't have the strength to survive the Philadelphia life and what would make him publicly embarrass his son years ago when he said that he avoids the gym like the plague and is caught up in artsy movies and wouldn't have to be worried about him being compared to him. Why would he have such negative content, negative public things to say about his son? Why did he not cast Sage for the follow-up to Rocky V and Rocky Balboa and pick somebody who was leaner and in better shape than Sage was? Despite Sylvester Stallone's public persona, he has done a good job of covering up multiple sexual assault accusations dating back to the 80s, even one that included his late half-sister Tony Ann Felitti, who's the mother of his nephew Ed Felitti. An ugly drama was revealed at the heart of Stallone's extended family. The drama involves Felitti's allegations that Stallone abused her for years, which were met with counter charges that she was a drug addict looking to blackmail her famous and wealthy older half-brother. The drama spilled into the trauma surrounding the early deaths of both Felitti and Stallone's son Sage. Felitti died of lung cancer in August 2012 at age 48, a month after Sage's death. In January 2013, the New York Post obtained documents showing that Stallone had reached a confidential multi-million dollar settlement with Felitti back in 1987, the year after the alleged Las Vegas hotel incident involving a 16-year-old girl. The story from people close to the star was that he was the victim of Felitti's blackmail, that his half-sister, 18 years younger than the actor, had threatened to ruin his career by going public with allegations. Jacqueline Stallone, the mother of both Sylvester Stallone and Tony Ann, told the Post that her daughter was addicted to prescription painkillers and desperate for cash. This was nothing more than a shakedown. Jacqueline Stallone told the Post Tony Ann was on 65 Oxycontin pills a day and she threatened Sylvester. A drug addict would do anything, Jackie said. Jacqueline Stallone insisted that her son had tried to help her daughter, but he caved to her demands. At the time, in 1987, he was very hot, and his lawyer said, give her something to shut her up. Under the settlement, Stallone agreed to give Felitti $2 million plus $16,666.66 per month for her lifetime, plus a trust with $50,000 per year for psychiatric and medical expenses. On Felitti's end, she was supposed to destroy secretly recorded conversations between herself and Stallone, the New York Post said. No one knows what was on those cassette tapes, but there is the theory that they could have backed up her abuse allegations, according to the reporter Doug Papa. In any case, the tapes were destroyed, but the Post noted that there were believed to be other tapes in existence that could reveal more about Stallone's dysfunctional family. Does Rocky Balboa have some explaining to do, or is this all just a weird coincidence?